Hi, this is Ian Westerman. I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's my mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players just like you. Welcome to episode number 45 of Ask Ian. Today we've got a question that actually came in via email from John M., who wrote to me and said, could you discuss the issue of switching grips during play? Why is it important to switch grips between the serve, forehand grip, backhand grip, etc., during a rally? And what happens if you do not switch grips? All right, John, good uh, question. And we don't have time to go you know, grip by grip, stroke by stroke here, and talk about the pros and cons of different grips and why, you know, why it's important, et cetera, et cetera. But I will give you a good general overview of just conceptually why having different grips is important. On the serve, chances are, if you've been around tennis for any length of time, you've heard it said that you should be using a continental grip for your serve, and that's absolutely true. I'm not gonna go into great detail why, but suffice it to say, it allows you to use your shoulder, arm, forearm, hand in the strongest, most athletic way possible. Uh, a lot of tennis players kind of push at their serve. They don't have racket head snap. I'm not going to go into all these you know, different terms, but having a continental grip allows you to create snap, which creates racket head speed which allows you to hit with more power and more spin. So continental grip is extremely important for the serve. Now, once you've started the point with your serve, if you're a singles player, typically you're gonna go into ground stroke, ground stroke mode from there. You'll be hitting forehands and backhands, uh, as John referenced here. Now, with a continental grip, you're basically in a neutral position with your hand relative to the racket face. Sorry, I don't have, <laughs> left my rackets at home today, uh, which figures, but in a, con in a continental grip, you're basically neutral. You're using essentially the front of your hand for your forehand side and the back of your hand for your backhand side. A continental grip makes it very easy to just kind of finesse the ball back, but if you wanna advance from there and you wanna hit a more aggressive, more confident, more penetrating, more challenging shot for your opponent, then the racket face needs to close more than that. And if you ever want to be able to hit a strong drive forehand or backhand or a topspin forehand or backhand, at contact, your racket face, your strings, need to be somewhere right around perpendicular to the court surface, give or take a couple degrees. And it depends on your position, depends on a lot of different things, but ballpark, that's right around where you want to be. And with a continental grip, it's kind of awkward to turn the racket face over. And same thing on the backhand side. It's not quite natural to turn the racket to get the strings flat on your backhand side either. That's why we have a forehand grip and a backhand grip, so that the, the angle of the strings changes and we're able to easily line the racket up with the ball and our strings are more naturally flat. Not closed facing down towards the court, not open either. Having an open racket and making a long, powerful swing is gonna cause the ball to go too far. Having the racket face facing down towards the court, unless you're really close to the net and the ball is up high, it's gonna cause the ball to go down into the net. So it's important to find the right grip that's comfortable for you on your forehand and backhand so that you can naturally and confidently and smoothly and loosely accelerate the racket and you can be confident that the racket face is not gonna to be too open or too closed. The, in a nutshell, this is the, the function that different grips have. And different players play with different grips because they hit with a little bit different style. They hit with more topspin or more, more of a drive type shot. A player like Del Potro has a very, very uh, unaggressive uh, grip. He's almost up towards continental. He's a big guy and he hits with a lot of power and a lot of drive. Uh, somebody like, Joe, like uh, I'm sorry, Nadal, who hits with tons and tons of topspin, his grip is very different from Del Potro's. It's much more towards the bottom of the grip, which closes the racket face naturally much, much more. That's because he's swinging upwards much, much more aggressively. So it's all about balancing those two things out. And if you want to be able to play high-level tennis, you need to be able to figure out how you can make long, confident swings on your ground strokes and not worry about them going into the net or going too far. And if you'd like to become really good at that, I've got actually a completely free training series. It's called Pinpoint Ground Strokes. 
and it focuses on developing this ability to have a long, confident, smooth swing on both your forehand and backhand side. I'll put a link to that right down below. It's a 15 video series and you can get free access to it by uh, checking out the page uh, that we'll link in the description down below. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Hopefully this video and that quick uh, uh, description was helpful as well, John and the rest of you watching. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and click like. Also be sure to subscribe to the Essential Tennis YouTube channel. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. I come through and I uh, answer and reply to as many of those as I can. So with that, thanks again, take care and good luck with your tennis.